everybody on the kick scene, baby. I miss y'all. How y'all been? Listen, what we got going on today, we got, um, I don't know if it's a celebration, but I'm celebrating some warm weather. So nothing like, like a southern girl, like your lemonade, your sweet tea, but we got a twist. So we going pineapple lemonade cake today and the star of the show is going to be some frozen lemonade concentrate. So y'all know the drill by now. Look at the ingredients back there. All the written instructions will be uh, below. And this is not quite, quite pound cake consistency. We just want a light, fluffy, but yet moist cake. Full of that pineapple lemonade flavor. So let's get it. Like that. Why you think you keep my nine roll? So your girl been hard at work at her hourly place of employment. And I don't know if y'all can see back there, but on the floor I have new candle jars. So our Mother's Day candle day, candle day. So our Mother's Day candles I have coming out. So baby, I've been staying busy. But this is the contents. This is the pineapple, perfectly moist pineapple supreme cake mix. We got that in there. And then y'all know the drill. What I'm going to add, I'm going to add a box of the lemon jello pudding. Now. Somebody asked me, um, is it the quick cooking? Is it the the something, something? I always do this one right here, the one you don't have to cook. This is more, this is the instant pudding. You just drop it in there and make it do what it do. Um, I always add the written instructions, y'all, but don't make it no more technical than it need be, okay? So the obvious of my cake, we all know by now, we want quick, we want affordable, but we want good. Remember, I tell y'all, I always catch my cake mix and my puddings. They always go five for five. And when they do, I rack up. So my glass Pyrex bowl that I like better because I can see through, I dropped it and I broke it. And then I fixed the trifle for somebody that never gave me my bowl back. But y'all know the drill. We want to go ahead and get the pudding and the cake mix so well. definitely up. let's start getting into our seasonal flavors, y'all. There's so many different kinds I do. I do a sweet tea. A peach tea, I mix it up, I do the soda cakes. The more and more we get in depth with my videos as time goes along, y'all will see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Butter going is looking a little bit thick, so use your butter measurement. You want five tablespoons of unsalted butter, and then I want an extra teaspoon. Now, I didn't melt it because I had this sitting out like forever and forever. I tell y'all, butter and cream cheese, for some reason, I always leave at room temperature. So, it is very, very soft, and it'll whip up just fine. So, right now, your batter is looking a little bit thick. But when you add this, this going to this gonna, um, shake everything up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to loosen it up some for you, okay? And I think I'm going to do some in my mini my mini bunt pans today. I got the mini bunts, y'all. So now flavor profile. Just because I have lemon extract, I'm just going to put two drops in there. And y'all know the all-time bay, the all-time fave. If I can get an open vanilla bean paste. Remember with this, you just want to drop... For the vanilla to heighten it, it's not a vanilla cake, so just that little squirt right and there. Is one third to... cup. I have my frozen lemonade concentrate, and if anybody asks me, can you use lemonade in a bottle or something like that? It won't pack a pungent flavor. Remember, concentrates are just what it said. It says concentrate, and we want that. I want that pucker to when you bite into the cake, it really tastes like you just swallow. A gold balloon. Now being the queen of improvising, if you had Kool-Aid or you had Country Time Lemonade, can you use a scoop of that? That's going to be a yeah. But then you want to go back and hit it with some fresh lemon because that's what's going to heighten it up and not take it from that artificial lemonade flavor. So in my Vitamix right here, this is some regular dull crushed pineapples like the Tidbit Pineapples. Whatever, uh, whichever one you have would be fine. And I did post it down because I didn't want it super, super chunky. But it got a little bit of texture to it. So we're going to add, I, I eyeballed about a third cup of that too. Okay. Fresh lemon juice down in there. Pop the seeds out. Give it a good squeeze as much as you want. The acid from the, oh shit. Oh, see. The acid from the lemon juice is going to thin out your batter. My batter was kind of thick. 
but it's still not going to feel like pound cake wise but just go ahead and do that and don't do like I do at least all the seeds sitting in one spot I'll go ahead and get them out yeah I tell you I just as real as they come I could edit that out okay, that look familiar and then at the very end y'all know we do we hit the zest of the lemon at the end and then we fold in that way it don't get tied around your beaters on your mixer and from here I got my grease bunt pen. I do have a regular big. Ooh, I just got my nails done. I do have a regular big bunt pen over there, grease. But I'm gonna throw some in the minis because I'm here to tell y'all, baby, these these restaurants and these little chains that be out here that offering these mini cakes, I should remain nameless. And y'all thinking I ain't never they ain't never advertised fresh and homemade because they can't because they're not. Um, I ain't no hater, but I I, I just saying. Y'all, if y'all do this, y'all want to be better. Reserve part of your lemon for your powdered sugar glaze. Okay, y'all, so I have my bunt pan. I'm going to do some in there. And I'm going to do some in these. Like, if these don't have to be overfilled. I used to make that mistake a while back, so don't overfill. I'm going to just do a couple in here. So, also, y'all remember, too, with certain fruits, um, too much acid in the fruit. Acid don't bake. Which means your cake won't rise. So my pineapples in its own juice. That's why I pulse them and crush them down to kind of get them small to get a good texture. And not overload the batter with too much pineapple juice because then it will be too wet. So while I do my quick cleanup, I want to thank y'all for all the likes, all the the views, all the comments. Um, Y'all, yeah, but let me just say this. I, I love pineapple, right? I make a mean pineapple lemonade where... I make the simple syrup for the lemonade out of pineapple and I do it with sweet tea too so let me know if y'all want to see stuff like that but I don't ever want to be that girl where I stop thinking y'all because some of y'all tune in the candle reviews who don't got to care about a candle in the world baby but y'all just tune in because y'all rocks with me and I think already y'all so it's been some hours I'm back I'm done I just did some powdered sugar with lemon juice just to drizzle on the cake remember you can make it as thin or thick as you want to. And I always take a serrated knife because those are best for cakes. And y'all know how I do by now. I slice them up in these containers. I even see Dollar Tree has styrofoam containers the other day. And look at the moistness. Look. It's not too wet. It's not too soggy. It's not too dense. Y'all, it is just right. And it is a moist slice of cake. Pineapple lemonade, the flavor is there. I encourage y'all to get into y'all flavors for the spring and summer. And I am going to slice this up some more. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one, babies.